keyboards, mice, and other input devices. Keyboards. In the early days, computers accepted input on cards and paper tape. Keyboards appeared back in 1983. Most keyboards today are IB enhanced AT style keyboards. The standard keyboard layout consists of five different groups of keys. Alphanumeric keys, numeric keypad, function keys, cursor movement keys, and modifier keys. On a keyboard, you have your escape key in light blue. The alphanumeric keys are in red and these are used for typing. Function keys are your F1 through F12 keys. Your cursor movements are over here between your alphanumeric and your numeric keypad. And then your modifier keys are your Shift, Control, and Alt. Long periods of time on the keyboard can cause injuries. An ergonomically designed keyboard can help prevent some of these injuries. Good keyboard practices can also help prevent injuries. The function of a keyboard. One, a key is pressed on the keyboard. Then the keyboard controller sends the scan code for the key to the keyboard buffer. The keyboard controller sends an interrupt request to the system software. The system software responds to the interrupt by reading the scan code from the keyboard buffer. The system software passes the scan code to the CPU. Preventative maintenance. Disconnect the keyboard from the computer. Vacuum the keyboard to remove any loose dust, crumbs, and or debris. A small brush can loosen some of the material. A can of compressed air can also help remove the dust. Clean the keyboard with a mild glass cleaner or isopropyl alcohol using a cloth and cotton swabs. The mouse. Invented by Douglas Engelbart in 1963, a pointing device that moves a graphical pointer on the screen can be used to issue commands, draw, and input other tasks. The mouse is controlled by using the following techniques left clicking, right clicking, double right click, pointing, and dragging. The mechanism for detecting motion is a combination of optics and electronics. The mouse contains motion detecting rollers that are connected to small disks. As the disks spin, a slot, the slots in the disk break a light beam going from the LED to a photo detector. The rate at which the light beam is broken tells the computer how fast the mouse is going and in what direction. The mouse should be cleaned often to remove lint and grime that collects on the roller and the ball if you have that type of mouse. Turn the computer off and disconnect the mouse from the computer. Turn the mouse upside down and twist the restraining cover and remove the ball. Wash the ball in warm soap water, rinse, and dry it completely with lint-free cloth. Shake any loose material out of the mouse case and examine the three axles. Remove any lint from the axles using a can of compressed air. You may need to scrape the lint loose with a cotton tipped swab or with your fingernail. Preventative maintenance continue. Shake out the debris you scrape off. Replace and secure the mouse and, and place the cover back. Clean the outside of the case if necessary. Always keep the mouse pad clean and wipe it with a damp cloth. Other input devices. Some other input devices include variants of the mouse such as the scanner, a webcam, and an integrated pointing device such as a joystick. Digital cameras, video cameras, and scanners are used for inputting graphics and text into the computer. Pins, touch screens, and microphones are also common alternatives used for inputting.